Hey Thinksters, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Thinks.com, and in today's video you're going to learn about Python's built-in locals function. So the concept of globals and locals, um, like there's also a globals function, is very difficult to grasp for many um, beginner in Python, but especially for intermediate coders. So this video is addressed for to all the uh, beginners and intermediate who don't really understand the difference between uh, local variables, global variables, and um, the scope of different of uh, of different environments in in Python. So let's dive right into it. What is a um, Python locals function? So a locals function is um, a built-in function, you don't have to import anything to use it and you can just call it in your code like here it returns a dictionary of name object uh, mappings. So it maps names as strings to objects and the names are the, just the names you are using in your code. For example, if you if you define a variable x, now you, you uh, immediately after defining the variable x within this function scope, um, you print locals, then it will give you the name of, of the variable you defined, like x, uh, associated to the object you have defined, like th this list object here. And this way you can you can obtain, uh, from, any, from anywhere in your code, you can obtain the mapping of names to objects that is defined. So you can see, uh, you can see which variables are defined, which variables can, you can access. And there are like two functions, the locals function and the globals function. The globals function gives you all the names defined globally on the module level. Uh, so for example here, if you would call globals, you would see um, different uh, variables defined by Python itself and defined by you on a global level. But if you define the locals, um, uh, if you use the locals function, yeah, you will only see the mappings of name and object pairs defined in your local scope, in the function scope. So therefore the dictionary will only contain one one mapping from X to uh, the object. So maybe let's have an uh, uh, interactive example in your in our coding share. Okay, so say we have a function um, f, the function uh, in the function you define um, this list object, uh, so you define a mapping, so you map, you create a var variable named x and you map this to uh, your object 1, 2, 3, okay? So in, in memory we, we now have a mapping from this name to the object and now you print lo the locals, so you use locals uh, to check which names are defined here. And now let's, let's simply uh, execute this function and run the, the overall code. Yeah, we need to <laughs> define the function. Okay, so now let's run the code. And um, now you see we have a dictionary of, um, of the name x, uh, string name map to the, to the object here. And now what happens if we now use the locals function here? Suddenly we get a different output and, and basically this is now the, the output of the locals function now is the same as the output of the globals function. So why is that? Because the globals function gives you all the name object mappings defined in, uh, in, on the current module level. So now our current scope of the program is a global scope yeah? because we are not within the function. So if we would now define another function g and again we print um, locals now and now we run g now the scope of the the local scope will be the scope within the function so it will be uh, within this function scope you it, it will like re refresh the scope and give you only the local scope and as we didn't define any variable um, we obtain an empty dictionary yeah and if you do if you would do the same thing so let's create a function h and we print globals now, what would, what, what would you think will happen if we run the function? Yeah, we get exactly the same output as uh, before because globals always refers to the global scope in the, on the module level. So all the variables that are internally defined by Python, like for example, this dunder name to dunder main mapping or dunder dog to none and so on. So all these mappings that are internally defined by Python and all variables, like the variable f we have defined here on the, on the on the global level and now of course we also have to define variable g we also have defined variable uh, name h and all of them um, point to function objects so now these so if you use the globals function you will simply get the mapping from all globally 
defined names, so all names that are visible in the global scope. But as soon as you enter a local scope, for example, creating a function or crea creating a class, say we cr create a class uh, car, and now we have a uh, function. Now maybe we, we can just do the uh, let's let's define a function the function in it so the constructor function uh, we need to pass the self uh, uh, sorry so we have class car def in it self so now and now we have now we say in this in our constructor function we print locals now what what would you think if we create a new car object like this. Yeah, we create um, the the name self. The name self is is passed into our um, constructor function. Uh, so therefore, the name self is available in our mapping, obviously. Okay. So therefore, we have a dictionary of one value, so um, of uh, one mapping from name self to the to the object. And and self, what is it? What kind of object is it? It is the object. Itself, so it is it is an object of type car, okay, and this is also the object we are creating. So therefore, the return value will be the same object uh, that is mapped to uh, from the name um, self. Okay, so the locals function is context sensitive; it returns a different value um, from different uh, scopes, while the globals uh, function is always the same. Okay, if you would have uh, accessed the globals here, then it will just give you all the names currently defined in the in in any scope, basically. Yeah. So um, uh, therefore, now we could do the following. So we could we could use this code snippet which we have already created. So we create a function f. Let's refresh the shell. So now this is like on the outer scope. We have uh, so if you would print globals here. Now we would we would obtain a dictionary that also contains the, very, the name f because we have defined the function f here. So we have associated the, the name f to the function object uh, created. And uh, now even if we create a, a variable x, and now we set x to 42. Now and th now we run f. So now the locals um, call will simply return the mapping from the name x to the list object as before. So it will prefer the local mapping over the global variable because globally we also have to find a variable x um, and set it to 42. But now the local variable here will override um, the globally defined variable like this one. So if we call locals here we will get the local um, variable. Um, but if we, if, we now, if we now call globals here so then of course we will obtain the mapping from the variable x or variable name x to the integer object 42. Okay, so we will obtain two different um, versions of of the scope of the uh, of the of the dictionary. Yeah? So in, in, in one version we will obtain like this mapping in the other if you if you use the locals uh, function and in the other we will obtain the this mapping from x to the integer value if you use the globals function. So let's run this. And now you see here this is the first version we have the local scope and this one is the second version and here you see the mapping from x to 42 okay so this is how you can check the different um, selections of the name object pairs um, as defined um, by the locals and globals built in python functions and these are very important python functions they are built in so um, any python coder should actually know these functions because i think I think you should study all the built-in functions because the creators of Python have actually uh, decided that these are the most important functions and therefore uh, because they are built-in you don't have to import anything so and therefore you should probably understand all functions to become a great coder. Okay, thanks for listening to this video. Um, check out our uh, free email academy, uh, Fix the email academy which, which uh, you, can, uh, you can check out in the description below. So I give a link below and um, yeah, we send you a lot of Python course emails and Python free Python lessons so that you can study um, your Python skills, uh, you can study Python and improve your skills over time, become a better coder in the process. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.